How full is your bucket? How full is your bucket for kids? Felix was putting on one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I'll be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Oh, boy. Whack. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna had an invisible bucket, and when it's empty, she feels bad, and when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice you had a, your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning, and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped, and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel that his bucket tipped, and big, enormous drops spilled out. Drip, drip. Ha, ha. Anna laughed, and she crunched the cereal on the floor with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded Mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa weeks and grabbed the last blueberry muffin before he could even take one bite. Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst. Felix. Psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. It was still morning, and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could barely, hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop, drop, plop, plink, drop. The class grew quiet. They laughed at the right places and oohed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop. Team, team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Nice colors, Felix. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone had a bucket, too. Let me help. Drop. Drop. Hey, here's your baseball catch. Drop. Thanks, dude. Drop. I'm Felix. First day? Drop. Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You're right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. And then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, Felix scolded. But then he thought dogs might have invisible buckets, too. Your dog will be okay, Anna. Mom will fix it. Until then, do you want me to help build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. The end.